Douglas arrived back in time to see Flying Scotsman take his enthusiasts home. The Fat Controller said they had all been honored and thanked Flying Scotsman and his owner for their help. Please tell everyone, he went on, that whatever happens elsewhere, steam will still be at work here. We shall be glad to welcome all who want to see and travel behind real engines. The announcement was greeted with cheers and fine Scotsman departs to the strains of Will ye and Noel come back again, led, as one might expect, by Donald and Douglas. At last, Douglas could tell his news. They were all excited about it and agreed that something must be done for Oliver. I'm feared, said Donald. Some murdering diesel may creep in and him there alone, lacking steam to even whistle for help. You're right, said James. He won't be safe till the fat controller knows. Douglas should tell him at once, said Gordon firmly. Is it me to speak to the fat controller? It's for he think me, and maybe interfering. Well, here he is, said a cheerful voice. Now, what's all this about? Duck broke the awkward silence. Beg pardon, sir, but we do need another engine. I agree, Duck. That is why I'm giving 7101 another chance. Their faces showed such dismay that the fat controller had difficulty with his own. Sir, ventured Gordon at last, we had hoped for a, a real engine. They, said the fat controller gravely, are rare. And unless one escapes, there's a little hope. But sir, burst out Donald. One has, and, thanks to Douglas, is now at our works, announced the fat controller. Sir, gasped Douglas, is there anything you don't know? More than you think, La he laughed. Oliver's crew told me all you did, Douglas. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see a blowy engine, and him in trouble, and no do wheels a turn. More than a wheel's turn, I fancy, Douglas. I'm pleased with you. Oliver, Isabel, and Toad will soon be ours. Oliver and Isabel are just what we need for Duck's branch line. Loud cheers greeted this announcement. And Toad wants to be your right friend, Douglas. Thank you, sir. I had hoped for that. He and I will do broadly together. That, of course, made everything right. Henry spoke a good word for 7101, and the others gave him a warm welcome. He had good manners for a start, but... Henry didn't find it hard to teach him our ways. 7101 finds them different from those of the other railway, but much more interesting. He is now quite a useful engine. They teased him at first because of his growls. They said he was like a bear. He still growls, not because he's cross, but because he can't help it. His name, Bear, has stuck. He likes it. It's nicer than just ha a number, he says. Having a name means that you really belong. The fat controllers soon had Oliver, Toad, and Isabel mended and painted in full Great Western colors. Then he rescued three more Western Honor coaches. Two, Alice and Mirabelle, he gave to Duck. The third, Dulcie, joined Oliver and Isabel. Duck and Oliver are happy on their branch line. It runs along the coast to the small railway. We reopen branches, they boast. They are very proud of this indeed. The others laughed at first and called their branch the Little Western. Duck and Oliver were delighted, and now no one ever thinks of calling it anything else.